Hey guys, how how's it going? It's uh, Andrew, or Fuji, from the uh, Infinite Baffle Subwoofer Forums. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick video here and show you how to take a uh, frequency response graph from your Infinite Baffle Subwoofer using the Room EQ Wizard software available from the Home Theater Shack Forums. Uh, here uh, we can see my Radio Shack SPL meter. It's hooked up with an RCA cable. To my laptop, I have a MacBook Pro. Uh, the software should work exactly the same on a PC or a Mac because it's Java. Um, you can see here I've got my EP2500 and my BFD, which is currently disengaged, and the RCA cable hooking that up to my computer. I have these little adapters that adapt from mini plug to RCA, and uh, it allows me to hook up these RCA cables. I've got the the SPL meter going into my uh, line in and then my line out goes to the BFD and the EP2500 to the subwoofer. Now to set this software up uh, when you first run it you need to go into the settings and you want to measure the response of your sound card and to do that you're going to want to hook the line, the line out of uh, the sound card to the line in on the right channel so you you would put a RCA cable between these two and then you on the settings here under the sound card tab you go ahead and click uh, measure and it'll make a calibration file for your sound card then you go ahead and go over here to the mic and meter tab and you've got the I've got the Radio Shack SPL meter so I went ahead and load the calibration file in there uh, you can see browse right there and you can load the calibration file in. Uh, it says to click C weighted in the uh, uh, information for the software so I went ahead and did that and I've got the switch flipped to C weighted on my Radio Shack SPL meter. Now we want to calibrate the levels so we'll go ahead and click here and calibrate and it's going to run a test tone and uh, we use that test tone uh, to measure the levels here. So it's a little high because we want it to be about 75. So I'll turn it down a little bit here on my laptop. And that's about right. So we're at a reference level of 75 decibels. That's our target level. Here you can see under the target settings if it's a uh, if you think it's going to be different then you have to set the target level and then we can go ahead and click measure and we're going to do 0 hertz to 200 it always says it eclipsed for some reason and there you can see my near field frequency response graph of the infinite baffle subwoofer